So this is what our Blackwater Biotop Aquarium looked like previously when uh, we just set it up. Uh, so it looked great and I was quite happy with it, but uh, the only problem was that it was uh, kind of too small both for the fish and for the plants and uh, there was actually quite a lot of uh, riparian plants on top, potos and monstera plants and uh, there were some floating aquatic plants as well and uh, there was a huge chunk of driftwood in one of the corners so there wasn't much uh, space for either fish or for the roots of these plants in this setup although it, it was really beautiful and it, it was a hard decision for, for me to actually change it but and now I will talk a bit about uh, this setup the idea was to recreate a kind of a swamp uh, Blackwater South American uh, possibly Rio Negro style um, swamp area with part of a coastal area so over there is a coastal area there's some driftwood there's some mosses growing on this driftwood and uh, uh, there's a higher uh, slope created of sand and uh, there are more riparian plants in that part of the tank and here there's more of a swimming area with lots of leaf litter some botanicals uh, twigs uh, small pieces of driftwood and uh, some aquatic plants as well so uh, i have uh, two uh, species of aquatic plants in here this is a uh, helanthium bolivianum uh, and it's kind of a short echinodorus type of uh, plant that is uh, it's not exactly a carpeting plant but it's it's very similar to carpeting plants because it's not going to grow taller than this and it kind of spreads out so you can see it's already shooting uh, uh, some stems um, to this area of the tank and over here I've got um, a large uh, plant of Echinodorus blairi, Amazon sword plant and actually yeah, I, was, I was wrong when I said that I only have two species I also have this one Echinodorus argentinensis in here and it was previously growing in a pot in a, in a different tank and it wasn't doing great there so I decided, decided to try it out here I don't know if it's going to grow here but if it will grow it should come out immersed I also have here uh, some floating plants such as Amazon frog beets, uh, red rooters and uh, some hydrocotyle leucephala. I also ordered some water lettuce pistia uh, type of um, uh, plants but they haven't arrived yet for the moss, I'm using uh, this uh, Tropica Brazilian moss. It's also known as Tropica Christmas moss, I think. Uh, and um, uh, yes, and riparian plants are very similar to the previous tank. So it's uh, uh, three species of potos. Uh, this is golden potos. I have marble potos and regular potos in there. Uh, there are two monstera plants and uh, a couple of uh, peace lily plants in that corner over there. I'm using a hang on the back filter over there to create that small uh, waterfall type of sink. Uh, it, uh, most of the water flows down the driftwood uh, through the moss and hopefully the moss will, st well it, it actually stays wet most of the time so hopefully it will grow in this environment. Well it's been three days after we set up um, uh, this aquarium and I can see that moss is still wet and it, it seems to be growing but it's hard to say at this stage. I'm using here two LED lamps to cover all areas of the tank and one spotlight lamp. It's just for visual effect it doesn't really provide much lighting to the plants. Uh, when uh, both of these lamps switch off in the evening this one turns on and it creates this beautiful spotlight effect. So to create this uh, leaf litter bed, I'm using magnolia leaves, oak leaves. Uh, I'm also using uh, catapa leaves extract, which I create myself. So I basically add catapa leaves uh, to a container with uh, water and they stay in there for, for a few days. So they leach all the tannins and this is what I use to, uh, to do water changes on this uh, fish tank. Uh, I also have quite a bit of um, twigs from uh, oak, oak trees and uh, uh, some alder cones as well. So this is it in terms of um, uh, botanicals. In terms of population, which is actually very similar to the previous uh, Blackwater setup that we had, uh, we have here um, uh, cardinal tetras and previously I had only 10 cardinal tetras in here but now I added 10 more so there are 20 cardinal tetras in here. Also there are uh, 10 uh, black neon tetras, several uh, dwarf pencil fish 
and uh, a pair of Epistogram Rio Mamore, as well as a small group of uh, Corridoras Duplicarios. And this is what it looks like now after I uh, remade uh, this, this whole setup. And the reason why I decided to change it is because I had uh, this uh, 140 liter tank empty and I thought why not use it for this black water biotop setup and why not expand it uh, and to provide more space not just for, for repairing plants but also for the fish. So my plan is that this is a final version of uh, the Blackwater biotope that I'm not going to change again and again. But uh, as, as you know, as probably many of you know, once you start creating a setup, you want to improve it constantly and you want to add things or you want to expand it. And this is what happened with the previous version of this Blackwater tank. I, I just felt an urge. To, to, to change it and to make it larger and more spacious so th that's the reason behind uh, this project and yes yeah, so uh, leave your comments in the comment section what do you think about this um, black water setup uh, whether you think something needs to be added or removed I don't think I will be adding anything in, in, in terms of stock because uh, it, it's not overstocked but I think it's just just the right level of stocking uh, for the moment and and please stay to watch uh, the feeding video I will be feeding them in a moment with uh, fluval uh, bug bites uh, flakes yeah, so uh, I'll see you soon in further videos.